Ah, how's it going, Radical viewers? Groom Gay, right back into a more Red Dead Redemption. Just getting off my session with Avarice of the Half-Cast. Where our least likely suspect turned out to be the one who done it. What's up, Dillhole? Hate that guy. Well said, let's go ahead and have a conversation with this poor woman, apparently. You okay, lady? My husband's missing. These bastards won't do anything. But he's a good man. He don't drink, nor lay with whores. And he's been, he's been missing for three days. Uh-huh. Let me guess. You went missing up in the hills? How did you know, mister? Lucky guess. Yes. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. But people seem to go missing up there. <laughs> I do find oh my parts God. of them. If he's gone, then what'll I do? Move on. We ain't got much money. And I'm with a family way again. As I said, I'll do what I can. <laughs> no, completely off topic, but I can't wait for my hair to grow out again. I don't know what I was thinking when I cut it. Well, no, I knew exactly what I was thinking when I cut it. I was thinking, it's like, dear sweet lord, it's summer, and I'm going to hate myself if I don't cut my hair now. Then I want to try something different involving my beard. Okay. Well, let's see here. Which I'm actually also deciding to even out and grow out. Oh, gee. Hmm. Can only imagine... I think I remember this stranger quest. And it certainly is playing out like how I remember it, so I'm thinking I'm right, but... Well, I guess I can spoil something if the game's old enough, right? But just in case, let's not. There are still people out there who have only recently gotten into Red Dead from Red Dead Redemption 2. And if they're anything like me, and they occasionally watch the Let's Plays from other YouTubers and stuff, just to kind of get a feel for the game and all that before actually buying it for themselves or trying it themselves, I don't really want to give anything away just yet. At least that's what I was before I became a content creator. Oh, gee, I seem to... I found a man! Who's alive? My god! I mean your leg. Oh, mister! Mister! Some city fella just attacked me and broke my leg. What? He broke my leg. Some city fella. Guy got kind of creepy on me. And then he got violent. Okay. When? Just now. Uh, he ran off that way. Can't have gone too far. Okay. If I find him, I'll bring him back this way. Yeah. Thank you, mister. <laughs> Not need the hell. Uh, where do you think you're going, boy? What's wrong with you? you know what's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? Come here. I don't know where you think you're going, but you're not going anywhere. Come here. Now, come this on. It's a nightmare. <laughs> no, that's after the game. Well, that's how I do it anyway. And it's usually undead. Come on, let's have a chat with the man you apparently assaulted. I want you to do a nice thing. Don't Look. take me back to that man. Why? Because you broke his freaking leg? And now you're worried about consequences? No, 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 no. We're going to have a conversation with that man. Please. I'll do anything. Can you start by shutting up? Here's your friend. Oh, my good lord. Please get that man away from me. Uh, Why? Uh, hey, fella. <laughs> You broke this poor fool's leg, mister. This maniac tried to eat me. We've got cannibals in these here hills. Please help me. What? what? Fella's got to eat now. Fella's got to eat. Uh, <laughs> save me from this freak, please. Please. <laughs> well, can't have that. Be free. There you go. Be free, sir. Be free.
That did end exactly how I remembered it. Well, not really. I actually forgot the bit where the guy has a broken leg or something and pretends to uh, not be a cannibal. Still completely shit insane, but not quite a cannibal. <sighs> Alrighty. <sighs> Who's closer? Irish? Irish is closer. I really want to finish off Nigel. Irish is closer. We'll do we'll do Nigel next time. Then I like Irish. Irish is fun. Uh favorite characters in this game. Irish is definitely just top tier for me. Man, it's hilarious. And I'm not just saying that because I got the pizza of Irish in me blood. I has got a bit of Scott, too, which uh, is always fun. It's weird. I can't hold my liquor for crap, but my god, do I metabolize it so damn fast that I'm sober again in 20 minutes. It's actually kind of annoying. Last New Year's, I actually decided to dedicate to actually getting and staying hammered. That was over a $90 bar tab to myself. Boy, howdy, did I not just stay drunk all night, though. And I was sober the second I got home. Sucked. Yes, boy, oh, you messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving Nick Cunner. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All Friendly. wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Yeah, keep on talking there, Iris. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. <laughs> What's up, boys? Howdy. How you doing? Boy, oh, this don't concern you. You pull a knife on me, it now Man, concerns me. Sing song voice tells me to fuck off. It always concerns me, boy -o. Look here. This petty bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Lost clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boy -o? The bloody cavalry? The voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boy -o. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. I will actually shoot you both. Watch your man, you goddamn bit. I warned you. Well, Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Mm -hmm. Untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. Which you're a great judge of, apparently. What about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. Cool. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Okay. Uh, follow me, fella. So we're just gonna leave those two guys there. Okay. Let's get this over with. The saloon's calling me. This is turning into a hell of a day. Yeah. You almost drowned. Not in liquor, sadly. I'm pretty sure that would have been a godsend. And uh, you watched name, two men right? die in front of you. John. John Marston. Stroke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was the only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Kick his thieves ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, me pa always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who will steal an acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The thieving bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella. I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I'm your life. Of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. Also, where are these weird and very vulgar yeah. sayings and proverbs coming from? My God. You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. Go and store it just inside that chest. 
What about you helping me out? Yeah. Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. Sounds like every dipstick that kept fighting me over the sniper rifle in Halo. Me, I was just happy with a shotgun. Hey, welcome here, mister. Move along. Really? I'm sorry, you pointed a gun at me, you gotta God, die. You know how this is gonna end. You ducked. I don't like that you ducked. Pretty good. Brick. What can I say, partner? Ah, uh, let's get to looting. And I'm gonna search the cabin. But first loot, because I am freaking broke and I'm not entirely sure why I'm broke. Why am I broke? That's why I'm broke. I bought ammo for this. The old volcanic. What gun in what game introduced me to the volcanic pistol? I don't remember. I remember thinking it was like the coolest thing ever. And then I did research on the thing. You're mine now, you dumb bastard! First blood with volcanic. Nice. And double shotgun. Also nice. It's not here. That lion sack of shit. Oh god, I got him just right. Ooh, I split that man's wig literally. Yeesh. Also, goddamn it, Irish. Is there anything in here at least worth having? No, I'm thinking Red Dead Redemption Two again. There's nothing in here worth having. Damn it, Irish. You piece of shite. Oh, do I actually have the duster coat now? I hope so. I may need to sally forth and uh, put that on, or I'll save that for the next video. Question is, what's closer? Irish or... Nigel. Nigel. Okay. I believe... Reduce price to the most shops, and I can wear the duster outfit. Sweet. Wait, can I put that on in camp? I think I can put that on in camp. Where is my, 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 my... What does this do? Oh. Yeah, why not use this stuff? What the hell? Uh, there's the basic campsite. I think I can change my clothes from here. That I might want to put an actual physical save down because uh, I've been getting into a bad habit of relying on auto saves, and sometimes that's not a good idea. Got that, got that. Capture a kill, Mo Van Bar, Twin Rocks Hideout, and Search Coots Chapel. I think Mo Van Bar is way later on. Where's my duster coat? There it is. Yeah. I don't know why I like this. I just... I like it. I'm weird. Yeah, it's been a while since I saved it. I might want to do that. I'm getting too ballsy about that, and... Sadly, Assassin's Creed Odyssey's taught me the hard way. That's like, don't rely on your autosaves. Always keep a physical, because sometimes... The autosave, uh, isn't where you think it is. And... Come here, come here. God damn it, come here. Gotcha. Honorable. Okay, on to frickin' Nigel. Nigel! I don't know what it is about the duster code. I'll give it this though, I like it a lot more than what Rockstar thought a poncho should be in this. Come on. Like... Well, then again, I don't know what I was expecting when I got the poncho in Red Dead Redemption the first time. Like... I guess I was just really hoping it was going to be like... The Man With No Name, Manko... 
Blondie from frickin' uh, the Dollar Trilogy and just being disappointed that it was... Let's go. Literally just a Mexican blanket with a bunch of holes in it. But isn't that essentially what a poncho was in all those movies? I don't know. Also, I'm really happy you all are kind of digging the Legends of Redacted series. Uh, little note, and this is also going to go in my Legends of the West series. If it's not Legends of the West video, for the love of God, don't make a request on it. I appreciate the love and support, guys, but I'm not going to pay attention to it other than get annoyed <laughs> when you're starting to make requests on literally every other video that's not Legends of the West. That's not how that works. That's... I got guidelines. I got guidelines for a reason, specifically so that wouldn't happen. You all have made the series into its own little meme and how I react to it. I love you all, I swear. I got some of you annoy me, though. Nah. Every single one of you are still radical viewers in my eyes, though, and always will be. Go this way. Go that way. Am I there yet? Jesus. Like, it's gotten to such a point that even my D&D groups are actually making a, an actual meme. You, <laughs> There's a couple of sessions I have where when I start recording and streaming and all that, one of the first things someone says, like, so when's the next Legends of the West gonna come out? It's like... Love you guys so much. I really do. But that's what made my channel popular in any degree, so I can't complain. I really can't. Yes, I can. No, I can't. I kind of can. Mr. Marston, sir. John Marston. Yes. Why are you hiding? Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir. I implore you. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. But my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, then certainly Bill Williamson. But first... You need me to do you a favor? <laughs> you read my mind. Mm. I can only deduce you have been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. Mm -hmm. I'll give you insight. Mm -hmm. I'll show you what your guts look like. Mm -hmm. hey, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I am. Thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. Sir. Sir, I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. Mm -hmm. A selfless act for you. But sir, before mm -hmm. I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> You're gonna need a lot of help in a minute. You really are. Really don't like you, Nigel. You're a perk. Just let me shoot him, John. Just let me shoot him. Please? No? Fine. I'll go mingle. Howdy. Ladies and gentlemen, gather round, gather round. My friends, are you ready to change your lives forever? Friends, hardworking souls of uh, plain view, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache. Neuralgia, a toothache, uh -oh. backache, toothache. This man is a fucking charlatan. Yes. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I, I say we hang him. Uh, I apologize. No. Science is not your no one's for it. Good no one's for the lynching. No one's for the lynching? Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, no one's for the lynching. No one's for the lynching. Nigel! Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Let's go, my boy. I think we've outstayed 
our weapon here. You can go anytime now, dude. What? What are you? Get some bread. Even this up a bit. Hold on. I got pastures. No, it's right. No kidding. Love of God. Nigel, I know how fast these horses can go. Can you go a little faster, please? One less moron to worry about. Yeah, but they're not stopping. Please go faster. That's it. Son of a whore. Good shot. What the hell is this? Wow, you're not dead. Now you're dead. Sure is fun. Came along, you did. Yeah, lucky, that's road. the word. Where is this guy? There he is. Good job. I'll show him. Nigel. Nigel, shut up and go faster, please. Oh, God, that man had a bad day. Yeah. Yes, we got him. Oh my good God! They blocked the road. Come on. Sorry, I blocked what road? Excellent job. Now let's make haste to Cueva Seca. For where? For a man of the people, you sure ain't very popular. I am up against the weight of plebeian ignorance, my boy. Right. Keep your eye out, John. For frickin' what? I just blew up a wagon full of dynamite and shot a lot of people in the face. Maybe you need to think about a change oh, of career. Oh, probably for them. I would... You really want to die? Pick out about all that ammo. How can these people harbor such bitterness? Well, I ain't surprised. That tonic I drank at Ridgewood went through me like a dose of salt. Come on. Well done! Nigel, shut up and make horses go faster. Gotcha. Go home, buddy. Hmm? Oh, wait for it. And no, he shot me. Who freaking who? Be lucky that I didn't kill you. Fine shot, my boy. I like that man who got shot and died horribly and is being dragged by his horse. Taylor, I'm not sure we're out of the woods yet. When are we ever? When am I ever out of the woods when I'm involved with you, Nigel? You do nothing but get me shot at. It's actually kind of annoying. Who the hell is this guy? Is that him? Yeah, that's him. One less moron to worry about. Yeah. I'll jump under the wagon wheel so I can have another less moron to worry about. Oh, shite. Problem solved. No, 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 I take it back. This has been like the most relaxing ride I've had with you yet. We even still have both horses. That's a first. We made it, John. There's Quavo Seca up ahead. I don't even know where that is. Where is that action on the map? Apparently about as west on New Austin as you can get. No. Oh. Okay. 
Where is that? Is that a fox or... No. I don't know what that was. Thank you, my dear boy. Yeah, it's Harry Sasquatch. You're welcome. You're also a prick. It always impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Uh, yes, uh, perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. Let's you see think? We try our hand at racing again. If there's a meat at Ratskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. cavalry. And forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. What are you done? Click. <sighs> I'm out of time. 26 minutes. Damn it. No, no, screw it. I want it done. I want it done and over with. Scheiße. Mr. West Dickens. Change my mind. Oh, I want it. Mr. Marston. How wonderful to see you, sir. How Ugh. wonderful. Are we ready then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Barely, nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. <laughs> What? Uh, never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I Please do. knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage. To turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. Yes. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Follow me, John. It's not too far to Rathskeller Fork. Nigel, I freaking hate you. Let's go. Also, why am I following? Are you, John? Okay, all things considered, hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customer. Heaven forbid. Upwards and upwards, I refuse to let the blind stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing mm -hmm. blind about it. I'd say they saw right through you. Mm -hmm. uh, before knowledge comes down, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, Wes Dickens. I that that was. implication, John. I wasn't implying. That's exactly what I think it is. If you're such a successful businessman, what are you doing living in a cave? Oh, for Fuck off. You're like a crap with a new toy. I'm sorry, so, we're being chased by a cougar. I'm surprised you are. Oh, I don't do any of this for myself, John. I hope you realize that. It's been quite a ride, John, oh, hasn't it? We haven't gone that far. No, I mean us. Ridgewood Farm, Gap Tooth Creek, Plainview. We make quite a team, you and me. Brains and brawn. We should consider a more permanent partnership. This uh -uh. partnership ends as uh -uh. soon as I have Bill uh -uh. Williams. Uh -huh. I appreciate your help. I've just about had it with all your schemes. Mm -hmm. You didn't realize what's at stake here. I know, John, I know. Just win this race and we'll be ready. I sure. give you my word. Mm -hmm. Your word means about as much as my old store manager back when I worked retail, who would literally actually, within the same hour, go back on what he head. said. Don't work retail, kids. It's a horrible thing. I know I said this, but technically the guidelines in this handbook that no one actually got and there's no physical copy of says otherwise. A lot of good of having a job description if you don't have a job description. Granted, I know there are some retail outfits out there that do take care of their workers as much as their customers, so good good for them, good for them. My particular experience was not that great. Best time I ever had being fired. Literally laughed all the way out of the building. 
stabbing, cliff pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes the rider to unfairly lose his weight or bleed heavily or black out. Get yourself. Where's the fun in that? Set, oh shit. That's right, I remember this one actually being a pain. Like, you gotta manage your stamina, like, perfectly during this race. And save just enough to get across the finish line before everyone else. Or apparently do whatever the hell I'm doing, right? Because, goddamn. There's always, like, this weird pattern to these games. Like, if you tap it just right... You'll just use about as much stamina as you gain back, so it'll constantly be in the middle ground, or really close to it. And basically just be on full sprint mode forever. Boy, how are you finding that balance, though? That, that's a pain. That, that is a pain. Especially when you're trying to concentrate on the timing along with the road. Yeah. I remember the one time I did this, back when I decided to play it again, way, way back in the day, after I've already beaten it. I got ballsy on the last stretch, so I just kept mashing. I got bucked off my horse right at the finish line. And I lost. That was a terrible moment. Where the bloody hell is this finish line? I wasn't planning on racing today, damn it. Come on. Got a strong lead. By uh, I'm screwing it. Come on. Come on, horse. Come on. I got too much to pay attention here. Oh, shite. Oh, shite. Come on. Come on. Where the bloody hell is this finish line at? Oh, this sucks. Yeah, how y'all doing? Yeah, I'm winning currently, but I'm not going to pretty soon here because I keep going off-road. And I keep spurring my horse to death. Come on. Seriously, where is the finish line? I've had enough. I would like to stop now. I want to go back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I have been playing that in my downtime as an unwinding game. I gotta say, I really want to start that series back up, but I plan to, depending on, I don't know, what I do in the future here. I'm good. Yeah, eat a dick. He saw, he conquered. Shut up. What a fantastic Give me my money. John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Shut up and give me my money. You got enough money now? Oh, no, you're all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I Good. we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? Oh, and a government hired ex, uh, outlaw. That too. Fuck you, Nigel. I got an achievement? What the hell? Wait a minute, what? Hold on. What? Of course, I, it's in the original Xbox, so I have to, well, son of a... I'll have to look that up later. I I do not recognize that. I am now a buckaroo. So. Bitchin'. I, I don't know what that is. Actually, wait, I think I know what mission that is. Oh, so guys, that's where we're gonna end the video there. I think I'm well past. Actually, only five minutes past. That's not bad. 
As usual though, I hope you all enjoyed. If y'all did enjoy, great way of showing your support is by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and by all means, sharing it with your friends. If only to hear me complain for 30 straight minutes. Yeah. Lots of complaining in this. My apologies for that, but... Sometimes it's fun to just complain. Once again, though, thank y'all for watching. Till next time, kids. Take care now. Bye-bye then.